And so what are our topics for today? So today's topic will first be the tarot, the introduction of how to use tarot, and then we will talk about how to uh, export the BitTech version of the bibliography and use it for LEDEC. So uh, for, for my part, uh, I want to introduce how to manage, uh, how to manage your citation in tarot. So the first step, you just go direct to Zotero.org and on the upper right hand of the screen, you can see the register here. Just click register and you put your username, email, and your password. Uh, after you get your account, then you go back to the download. So basically there are two versions of uh, Zotero. One is Zotero for Firefox, one is for Zotero standalone. They are uh, nearly the same. So uh, I'll start with the Zotero standalone. Once you download the Zotero standalone, the second step is to uh, add the browser extensions. So you can see here is a it's automatically recognized that my browser is Chrome. You just click Chrome and download the extension. So once you download the extension, you can saw, you can see here is a, a small icon on the uh, address bar on the right side of the address bar. You click it. You can see there are small uh, small box pops up. See here. Same. It tells you. It tells you like the Zotero is saving that uh, website. And to check that if you got the right information, then you go to the Zotero uh, pin. You here is the Zotero pin. And uh, see, you can see this is a Zotero download website. We just uh, uh, imported. And. Uh, so basically, there are three main parts of this uh, work environment. Mm -hmm. uh, the middle part is just show all the uh, resources you collected. And uh, you can see the title of the uh, resources, the creator, and other information. And more details will be included in the uh, right hand. The right part of this here, you can see the information, the uh, author, which that we can choose now. one. Now this is a paper I uh, added uh, for the presentation. Uh, it shows uh, the it's a journal article, the title, author, uh, publication, date, uh, some other uh, information. Also, the URL is included. Uh, you can uh, access through the URL here. And before we start to uh, explain. Uh, import more uh, sources. Let's first do a little bit uh, housekeeping stuff. So now we go to the tools, click tools icon, and find the preference. Uh, basically, uh, in the general uh, part, uh, you try just try to uh, make sure all the uh, box for miscellaneous and groups are checked. And uh, for the sync part, just input your username and password just created. And try, you can try to uh, check uh, sync automatically and sync uh, full text content if you want to download all the, the resources from the online account. And uh, in the advanced one, you can choose where to uh, save your the files and folders, you can choose your data directory and location. And after you set up uh, all the details here, you click OK. And uh, uh, on the left, on the left is basically all, the, all your library stuff. And you may have Google library. For the Google libraries, uh, if you don't have access to the, our Google library, you may send an email to Roger for access. And uh, let's first try to import one paper. So, um, so this is the 
this is just a rundown table I select from Petros from the net. And uh, you can see now the, uh, this uh, icon, the shape of the is changed to a uh, sheet of paper. That uh, means to recognize this is a uh, literature paper. And uh, you just uh, click the icon, then you save that. Uh, Saving to test that, which is a staff folder, which is a staff folder of my library. And you can see, actually, I, I was trying to uh, add this uh, align source, but it seems like. It doesn't show here. And one setup you have to do is that you click the setup and go to um, tools, extensions, and you can choose. You can so uh, you can see our Tarot container actually has already uh, added to our. Broader, but you have to set up like give the authorization to save the unsaved best server so that you can input directly without logging in with that account. And uh, once you uh, click authorize there will be a window comes out and you plug into your uh, log into account and choose accept default. Yeah, that's all the authorization. So that you can just uh, I wait back extensions without Login mm -hmm. account. Now we will try again. Maybe refresh the page before. Or. Oh, that's going. You're on Wi Fi. Do you have Cisco AnyConnect or are you on Ethernet? Uh, and is it case wireless or case guest? Case wireless. So then it should have given you a copy of that paper. See, it's here. Is the PDF in there? See, so X on the full text PDF. See the X on the full text PDF. It's case wireless. So it's off. It's because that we don't buy this paper. Ah. And I can. And that's well, there's another method that I would like to just uh, uh, tell you. Is once you cannot find a paper that we didn't buy it, you can go there's a website called uh, ICI uh, slash hub uh, dot cc, which is a website that is not so legal enough, but it's kind of between the border. <laughs> And uh, so you most probably don't need to discuss it more. Okay. Uh -huh. And you can download the, the paper here. Mm -hmm. uh, so after you, that's the way that you can add from the uh, from the website. And that way, you can go to case library. On search a uh, uh, book of uh, uh, 
position of friction and search. Then you can choose a book that you uh, would like to see. And you can see the icon now becomes a book. Mm -hmm. They recognize it's a book, so we just click it and it will save to our uh, library. So there are uh, another several ways that you can import this uh, sources without user extensions. The one way is that you can see on the uh, on the right of the JR button, there is a new item. If you click the new item, you can choose the book or the uh, journal article you would like to or if you want to add it manually. And uh, there are more like for our lab, sometimes we need to uh, import, uh, import our uh, presentation. It's like a poster. We click presentation and it puts your uh, poster name, uh, our uh, date, and uh, all the abstract stuff in your hotel. Another way is to use that uh, item by identifier. And you can uh, input. Uh, the uh, ISBN or the DOI, which shows, uh, mm -hmm. show, usually show uh, under the paper. See, uh, yeah. each paper has its own uh, DOI and fair, and you can copy that to the parallel mm -hmm. and uh, to here. Yeah, I see it. Oh, put it right in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do terrible. It's crash and terrible. stuff, yeah. When, that, when they sync stuff. Yeah, we, we already had uh, this paper by the end player. Oh, people I didn't like know that. that. It's pretty fast. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, also, there is another last uh, method I got is once you download the literature as a PDF version, you just uh, uh, drag it to for example, I oh, this is my previous live paper. Uh, I can just uh, drag it to the hotel. See? Mm -hmm. and, but in that way, you cannot have all the details on the right side, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, let's try it. Because I remain with that. So, if you right click on Chow's paper, right click on Chow's paper, retrieve metadata for PDF. Yeah, that's what, because I just remember it, I'm not sure it's right yeah, that's right. Oh, it's going to read the paper. Uh, PDF tools. Uh, Open preferences. Install PDF tools, which are under the search. Yeah, this one works. But you can see if you try it, the uh, Try to right click and truly try my data for PDF, but for that paper, I just cannot find it. But do you edit preferences or your PDF tools installed? The I go to edit preferences. Go to preferences in the gear. Yeah, you have to install those 
tools. You don't have to quit again. PDF indexing tools. PDF indexing. These tools are not installed. That's why it's not working. Yeah, for this paper it works. I don't like so now you can see they already find the uh, the details of that paper. Then now you see all the uh, titles and authors of that papers. Mm -hmm. And you can see papers is PDF version. Now it's just uh, when you click it, uh, they uh, met uh, the PDF version was under that uh, catalog. And for that paper, let's try if we can get so that paper it doesn't get the details. So you can. Uh, click the right side and it pulls the details of this paper. Another way to make your uh, library in a tiny style is to uh, you can right click the uh, my library or the subfolders, new subsections. So you can put the paper in the same Topics together and uh, make them clear to you. And if so, now you got the uh, paper you want, so you choose the the paper you want to uh, export as. You just right click and uh, uh, create a bibliography from ATOM. Then you can choose the style of your citation based on the journal's requirement. And uh, output mode is uh, bibliography. And generally, it's just saved by the RTF uh, to a position where your uh, LaTeX file is. And also, you can click to copy to clipboard. Sometimes you may use the word you want to copy it. Mm -hmm. Just uh, click OK and uh, open Word. Let's try OK and go to Word. Uh, control V. Let's say Bibliography. Uh, Bibliography. Not the way. And uh, for how to use it in uh, LaTeX, in front will give us more details. Okay. Have you put these slides or a PDF of them in the tea time repo? Okay, did you put them in the tea time repo also? Okay.
some papers in the LaTeX. Uh, you need to create a .big file. Uh, so this is an example of the .big file of article. And uh, you can see it is at article. So it means it's an article style. Uh, there is also uh, styles for other uh, things you want to cite. Uh, such as book chapters and uh, presentations and also posters and uh, sometimes you just want to cite this uh, single web page. You said your browser, yeah. And this website, it gives you a lot of examples of different uh, things you want to cite. Like the first one is article, and there's a book and menu and master cities and so on. Uh, what you need, you can create it by yourself. But you are for journal articles, you can get the uh, big tag file from the table. Uh, so in the table, for example, for this video, you can right click it and click export item. Just, just choose the big text here and click OK. I will do the desktop. You can see the article one dot big here. It's gonna open in tech works, I think. So the format for site paper is backslash site and curly square and it, uh, in this uh, brackets uh, you want to to make sure uh, this topic file can be saved by clicking this button. And then in the uh, 
text studio and it just takes a compound view. So I made something. Uh, in addition to the uh, slide command, uh, there is an additional thing you want to uh, write at the end of the data file. Yes. One bibliography style defines the uh, style of your bibliography. So different journal articles have different style. It will come with the headlist of the journal article. And the second uh, sentence here is bibliography article one. It defines the .bib file if need. So the article one should be consistent with the article one. So it knows mm -hmm. it should uh, reference to this topic file. And now uh, we can compile it. Mm -hmm. So you can see so according to article one. Mm -hmm. So it gives the uh, number of the article. It's the first uh, article you cited in this paper, so it's number one. And let's uh, export another article. So now we get the second one on the site. And now you just need to select this text. And copy it into the big file, uh, which is the same file as before. And then save it. And now uh, we'll cite this figure in our article. See, it gives the number of the second article, which is two. And under the reference uh, section, uh, you can see the first article and the second article here. So you do not need to mix the order of the papers by yourself. Uh, the program will give you give the number according to the um, sequence that you cited in the paper. So that's uh, all about the citation in data. And there are a few topics of data which we did not cover yesterday. Topic is the uh, mass mode in text. Uh, if you want to input numbers or letters as it italic shape or input special characters, you can use either uh, this style or this style. So, uh, let's see. This is a regular letter. And if you want to input uh, the letter with italic style, you can do So you can see the second one is italic shape. And 
and say Star Wars to the same thing. Also, use equation environments uh, to input an equations. This is your VDI at this. <laughs> so the beginning equation and the end equation define environment for you to input your equations. Uh, and the label uh, command uh, asks ask you to give a unique label for this equation so you can cite it in your uh, text. Want to uh, have a, a unique uh, number? Is begin equation the same as math mode, as the multi line math mode? It's different from the math mode in your text. Mm -hmm. So, with the equation mode, uh, there is a number from the equation. Mm -hmm. uh, but with the regular math mode, without equation environment, there is no number from the equation. So to input a query without the uh, equation environment, we can do double dollar sign and double dollar sign. Mm -hmm. And you input a query in between double dollar sign. So there's no number. And This command has the same effect as a double dollar sign. So the next topic of today have is figures.
PNG, JPG, and PDF figures. And it also supports EPS, but there are some special things with the EPS. There are some special package or settings you need to, to enable EPS. So to uh, use figures in label, uh, first you need to input this uh, package. Right, just put the use package graphics uh, at the beginning of your, of your document. Uh, and then uh, the format of using figures is this. Uh, the beginning and end still define a figure environment. It comes with the optional arguments, uh, which is included in this uh, square brackets. And there is a caption and label for the figure. And uh, there is an include, include gra graphics, uh, where you can define the width of your figure, and you need to input the directory of your figures. Also, wrapping uh, figures uh, use text. Uh, so the format for wrapped figure is uh, this. It's beginning wrapped figure and end wrapped figure. So the arguments of the wrapped figure is slightly different from the figure. Uh, uh, there is a, a mandatory uh, argument which asks you to define the width of the, uh, I think it's the width of the caption of the figure. 
And I think you don't need to put the JPG, you can just go logo. If there's only one, it will still find it. is a package for the draft figure. change the position by change this command, this argument as it's in the left and right. And there is another uh, thing else. Once you want to find the paper you want to show your audience, you can just uh, input a uh, demo after you do uh, this use package, right? You have to use the brackets. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And you can also put multiple image on uh, one figure. And this is an example of the command, uh, which is uh, there is a sub figure environment mm -hmm. within the figure environment. And then uh, the last topic is uh, table. It still comes with a table environment with begin and end and caption and label. Copy this example.
came to the Gabriel Union to your table so we would get side of these text. Uh, there's this uh, environment uh, which is tabular inside the environment of table. Uh, so the environment of the tabular is used to input the actual table. And everything uh, beyond the uh, environment of tabular is used to define the overall um, position or the caption of the table. And in, inside the tabular environment, uh, the dash h1 is used to input a horizontal line like this and the uh, double slash is used to uh, is, is used as a tab so we will start a different uh, row in the table and so, uh, this sign is used to separate different columns and so CCC here means center, center, center. It defines the position of the text within each column. So if we change it to LC, it will be left, center, and right. And you can also add a vertical line uh, in between the columns. Define the width of each of the columns. Uh, for Width of the third column is defined as one centimeter. Uh, but there are some small problems here, uh, which means some troubleshooting. And I will stop here for the LaTeX short course. Good. Thank you.